approaching the village on a cold winter night, expecting the rapture of holiday delight. The buildings were covered by a fresh blanket of snow, but something was missing. The spirits seemed low. No children were playing, no lights had been hung, no trees decked with tinsel, no songs being sung. The silence was eerie, the mood was quite dire. The inn offered shelter, but no warmth by its fire. Inside, the feeling was in no way improved. The patrons were quiet, barely anyone moved. The group stepped up to the bar, asked, what's going on? The bartender frowned, our joy is all gone. The children have all been taken away by a being most foul who loathes Christmas Day. He looked round the room and lowered his voice. A lich has enslaved all our girls and our boys. I keep telling all of you that we need to upgrade the security system around town, but no, nobody listens to me. Nobody listens to me. I'm just the crazy guy in the overalls. Jesus. Listen the spirit here. of Christmas has been protecting us for so long. <laughs> Yeah, the spirit, the spirit of Christmas can't keep things out of the town. We got like four wolves coming in here every other day, taking all the hams. You know, even the wolves need to eat a Christmas ham. Like, we all deserve a Merry Christmas. That is even very the wolves. true. Yeah, but they broke into the butcher shop. They went through the f***ing window. <laughs> you know, it might have been my bad. I was chasing the wolves, and they kind of got away from me a little bit. Maybe they, like, just jumped in there to hide. I don't know. Yeah, like, jumped in hey. there to hide. Yeah, and once you chased them back out and brought the entire other wall of the bakery down, who had to rebuild that wall? This guy. Yeah, five hours. Nobody thanked me. Nuh-uh, no sir. And now our kids are gone, so, you know. Well, <laughs> Thank actually, you for building you the wall. not get the cookies actually, I made for you? We did, yeah, we did send you a, a gift basket. Really? Because every time I go into the 504, there's nothing there. We get nothing. Did you, you get my firework ornaments? No! Do you, where do you all send these gifts? I sent you a gift card. A gift card? A gift card. Ugh. What's wrong with the gift card? Oh, you upper... I... I sent you a snowman. I put it inside. We, we did... We right did get that. The door. You know, you know, we did get that, but it melted. And it ruined our timekeeping. It, it ruined our timekeeping computer, so thank you. Now we have to do pay by hand. It's wonderful. You're all conversing. You're and... welcome. I'm very glad I could do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> As you're all talking to each other and trying to, you know, take in this information, there's um, uh, several more patrons that are coming in, and again, they're just, they look, um, you know, really, like, just tired, and, um, uh, Troy, you recognize a few of them from your, uh, your union, and, um, one of which, uh, your, uh, your good pal, Polly, who has just decided to come in after a shift. Polly, Polly, uh, Polly, come over here. What's going on out there? Well, you know, I've been trying to talk to law enforcement, and um, they say that the, the kids, you know, they were gone like four days ago that they knew about this. Four day, f four days? Yeah. Like, what day is it? I like checked my watch, which is like. Well, it's four days from the day that I found out. That's for sure. Oh, dang. Boy, yeah, I've been and they like just snatched him up in the middle of the night. Somebody just did the, the gun. I mean, how did nobody notice that? Well, I guess the question here would be, um, why was nothing done? Was there somebody you knew about this and then nobody decided to do anything? And she looks real pointedly at our um, law enforcement paladin. <laughs> you know, I this is the first I'm hearing about any of this. I would have been the first person running after those kids, so... Actually, no, you know, knowing you, I believe that. I really do. Mm -hmm. I really do believe that. You'd probably uh, be going out there in, like, flip-flops or something, all through the snow. 
Um, in now, you're wearing uh, shorts. Right after, like, after like a war, yeah. Why are you wearing shorts? Did you just work out? Did you get, <laughs> yes. just get a workout? Yes. Aren't you my uh, afternoon pump in? Who you know, wears you shorts the in the middle of winter? In, afternoon pump in. I mean, They're obviously he does. I mean, Cindy is rather known for wearing shorts at all times of year and all kinds of weather. It's but 16 it's degrees outside. <laughs> Yes, but um, uh, can you um can you make a uh our law enforcement brief? Can you make a um history check actually? <laughs> um that is a unnatural one. Oof. Yeah, you don't remember anything hearing any reports at all. So this is news to you. You must have been working overtime hitting up those reps. That sounds about right. Yeah, I've never never heard anything about those kids. Did any of the uh, what about the? I know our security system is pretty busted, but did any of the alarms go off in the perimeter of the town, Paul? You put that thing up yourself. Oh, you know, I, I checked to look around, and the, you know, the next morning, uh, there was like a, a bunch of us. You know, me, uh, Nikki, Nick, Paulie yeah. Jr., Paul, uh, Nicholas. We all went around, and um, you know, the, we saw like we followed these tracks right from the houses. And uh, they look like they look like tiny little footprints. Um, you know, not not like like anybody with a small shoe or anything. I mean like like really tiny types of like footprints. And then like some sort of like wheel wagon tracks. Yeah, it, it just it, it, you know um, a bunch of people went going looking for them. But uh, yeah, you know, now that I think about it, we haven't heard back from them. Who'd you, who did you send? Was it Jimmy the Squirrel? You you can't rely on Jimmy the Squirrel. No, no, no. We didn't get Jimmy because he's out on, uh, you know, he's, he's getting like three days away from retirement. So it just, he, we didn't want to rush anything. So oh, we, yeah, he's we sent out, uh, we sent out Johnny, uh, John Boy, uh, Jim, and uh, Jimmy. Ah, yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy's reliable. Yeah, he's a good kid. Well, he's no sense of direction. So now I'm instantly worried. Well, that's the problem. You know, the like... <laughs> The snowstorm came in. You know, you guys remember that storm? Oh, it's terrible. Oh, yeah. It just came That's in and just like, terrible. you know, they they had to turn around and they it's just like, hey, it's too cold. The wind is terrible. We can't we can't find anything. Uh, I, don't so, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, uh, could I get some uh, some uh, moose juice rounds here? Hey, yeah, get him some moose juice, all right? The you know what? Cold. No, no moose juice when children are missing. You know what? And holiday will get up. I can't perform music on the street without the children. There's no Christmas without the children either. You know what? I'm going to go find them. And you guys should come with me too. Oh, oh, well, bless your heart, darling. Are you going to go find them all by yourself? Well, I, I, I would hope not. I hope. And she gives like the biggest puppy eyes to Mary Bell. I hope you would come um. with me. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what is her persuasion? <laughs> oh. Plus six, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Fourteen. Right. Uh, I mean, she's got adorable. She's even batting the lashes. It's kind of hard to hurt, you know. I mean. Well, Your antlers look really pretty today. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> that is so sweet of you. Um, um, well, you know, it, it is really hard to have a, a proper festive time without the children. That is very true. Correct. And honestly, those little those little munchkins, they always help me put up Christmas lights all over the place. Mm -hmm. They ain't afraid of heights. And there's a lot of adults around here that are afraid of heights. And them children, they just they just climb this skirt right up in them trees and on them roofs and everything. So no fear of death. It's not beautiful. not at all. Not 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 one little bit. So um, even in the holly bushes, it's amazing. Every once in a while, one will get stuck, and then like they gotta get be like talked down uh, to get like out of the holly bush. Cause I ain't going in the holly bush. Like, can you imagine? Uh, no, wait, the holly bush? I don't remember the last time I've been to a inside a holly bush. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, wait. It, it sounds real painful, honestly. Yeah, you know, yeah, it does. Last time yeah. I chased one of them kids in a holly bush had a rash for three weeks but you know it was worth it got the kid out okay so you're so brave. You're, you're all the ones who are trampling through the holly bushes no the children are the ones 
trampling through the holly bushes. Oh. You listening to the story? Great. I, Google I know it's. Movie. I know it's prickly. Uh. We all know it's prickly. There's We're a, talking about the children. There's a gruff voice that comes from the back corner. Is like, I'll tell you who took the children. <gasps> and this, there's this gray, like, twig field, twig filled bearded old man just nursing a big mug of um of wonderful moose juice uh and he's just he's you know he's got like the big bald cap he's just dirty gray hair it, it's a, a dwarven gentleman type uh and he's just like you know with his adorable button nose on all of them everybody but still just grizzled and showing his time oh maxi here knows the answer it was the lich. <gasps> I tell ya, I've seen it before. What? There's a the bunch lich. of people just going, ah, be it's quiet, old man. Hey, you don't know what you you're know, talking not, about. A story. To him, okay? what you There's so many songs with? about him. Hey, this man prevented the eggnog disaster of 1964. You listen oh, to this right man. I did. If it wasn't for me, old Mary Sue over there. Hey, Mary. She wouldn't have been uh, caught dancing on top of the rooftop like she was the one time. But who busted him out? I'd say... And, and he just, like, collapses onto the table. Okay, okay. okay. pick him back up, and uh, I'm going to try to start groom his, like, groom his beard and some of the twigs out. I will sit in front of him as well, waiting bated breath. He, he, as he, it's like, just, right. like... It's all right. Let's get you back up. Come on. In the hills! He found him in the hills. Oh, you, you know, you people looking desperate to find the children, but you didn't, you didn't think to look in the hills. I know where they are. I can tell you which way. Oh, you're over there. I can tell you it was the Cobalt. He's got his little minion things that just, or he just, they come around and then, they, you know, they, it was, they're telling you it was the little, there was the lich. He comes back. Is it the oh, lich or the kobolds? I'm okay, confused. Okay. Uh, don't move your head so much. I'm uh, going to trim this new trim real close to the nose. The kobolds. I think the kobolds and the lich are working hand in hand. I think that's what oh. I'm getting out of this. I speak fluent drunk who. I've got a couple of uncles who will like him, all right? <laughs> the door flew wide open. In blew the cold. A young girl stepped in, confident and bold. I escaped from the bad things. I know where they are. Inside of the mountain. It isn't too far. Her parents embraced her. She was hugged and was kissed. But the rest of the children were still being missed. Hello, strangers, the girl said. You look quite brave. Would you please help rescue my friends held in the cave? <sighs> yes, immediately. Of course we of, will. Of course, yes. Well, considering the rest of you don't know your ass end from a T-switch, I guess I'll have to go with you, too. You know, I resent that very much. I don't even know what you're talking about. That's my point! Oh! You know what, let's just go before I start thinking about things. The bartender <laughs> and the parents, like, quickly just kind of, like, put a blanket over this snow-covered girl who's been, like, sincerely just trying to ask uh, for help. And, well, there's some, there's, there's some rabble-rousing going around, and, uh... You know, people are like trying to like calm her down, or her parents are, you know, like asking her, like, "Well, what happened, dude? honey? What happened?" Well, you know, I was, and she's like nursing uh, some hot cocoa that she got. Uh, I was, uh, I got woken up in the middle of the night, and there was this, 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 this scaly, like little tiny lizard thing. And he put my like hands in handcuffs and. They, they tied my feet together and they they made me quiet somehow. I couldn't talk. And then they, they took me away. And they took all the other kids too inside this wagon. And the wagon went all the way up this mountain, like way north. And there's there's this big cave there. And all the all the kids were we were they made us they wanted to make us make toys for them. And and we we were making all these different things out of, like, I don't know how to paint or carve, uh, you know, I like to do pictures and stuff, and I make things for my mom with macaroni, but, like, there's just, this was, like, really bad, and 
sudden, the parents are just kind of like, Wait. Were they okay, geckos? Honey. What was that? Were they geckos? I don't know. They were like red scalies. They look mean. Might be geckos. There's one thing that the 504 hates, it's child labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, um. Well, um, so Maribel goes down uh, on her knees to this little child and looks her right in the face and says, Honey, we're going to get your friends back, okay? Okay. Right. We're going to get them back. Enjoy your hot chocolate, okay? We're going to get them back. Okay, okay. And uh, the dad of uh, the girl comes up to you guys. Um, I know the you know, officer, I know that you're with these people here and I'm assuming you you know we we know this is a small town we all know you know, what we do for each other but um God, I if this if, if you, this needs to be a search party mission I will will happily you know reward uh, you know, reward for the for the rescue of these, these kids it's no problem no we don't need any reward we'll do it for the goodness of Christmas no, I understand, but I'm on the city council, so I'm just yeah. saying that if there's a budget problem or something that... No, there's no budget. ...maybe finance... Uh, 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 we'll actually uh, uh, pay you to save the children. She did protect you to death. <laughs> Holly is agreeing with everything Cindy's saying, just like... Oh. Man, I, I don't necessarily know that Cindy necessarily speaks for all of us, because I do know my guild, you know, for the beautification of who Vale uh, remains. Oh, yes, absolutely. You yeah, know, we're we, sorry that that, um... The, that meeting kind of went underneath the pile, but you know, there's just so many different things. That's you know, fine. we've got That's fine. Priorities. We've got, we've got Wang Wang Doodles and Kong Gonglers uh, just coming in left and right, and just it's, yeah, it's the, the whole package system. It just mm -hmm. uh, it's a mess. Um, yeah, as a st I, I do know, I do know. That's fine. May I say, as established, because of certain snowman incidents, we need a new pay computer down at the 504. In fact. We need new everything down at the 504. We're working with last generation tools and paper clips, all right? Whatever it is you need, I will make sure that I can help out and, and take care of it. Um, I think that the mountain that she's talking about is, uh, and he, he pulls out like, he's got like a little booklet uh, that's a Whovale uh, guide to Whovale. <laughs> And it's like, it just pulls out the small, like, tiny, like, it looks like a Forbes map like, for, like, you know, tourists. Um, yeah, just a little northeast of here. Uh, that's, uh, I guess if you take that path that's behind black the blacksmiths, just to head up that way, it should... God, why is it... That's, that's just strange. It's just a... a... Does anybody else find it weird that it's like a car, like a, a smiling face is like the, the base of the rocks? And then, has nobody questioned that? Like, it, it, it's... Oh, you mean Ghoul Rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've pretty much known about that over at the 504 for decades. But, of course, nobody listens to us about I mean, see, spooky the thing mountains. Is, though, the thing is, though, like, everybody knows about it. It's in the book. Like well, I, I, I get that. It's just like if I wanted to try and attract like the tourist board to it or something. I'm sorry, we're getting we're getting it's, off track. It's There's not this, a bug. It's a feature. Um, or what? It's a feature. So we have to go to the book route <laughs> with the feature behind old whatever crutchy's supplies, place. Whatever supplies. Oh, you old crutchy's place. Yeah. Yeah, the blacksmith, old crutchy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah crutchy's. Yeah, it's right um, next to my shop, actually. My glass one. I'm glad you're familiar. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I really love the new display that you put up in the window. It's oh my God, been thank fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank um, you so much. I worked real hard on that. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Christmas pickle. That one's fun. Yeah, a Christmas pickle is a very important tradition, actually. Mm -hmm. You hear the little girl in the back? Find my friends! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, the friends. On our way out, I want to take one of my ornaments off of my antler, and I want to hand it to the little girl. I say, I want you to keep a hold of this, sweetheart, okay? Until we come back with your friends, and then you can show them all your sparkly, your sparkly ornament, okay? He 
says, oh, thank you so much. Well, you are oh, this, so welcome. This is going to be great, but seriously, find my friends. We are totally going to go <laughs> find your friends. That's where we're going, Oh, yeah, okay? the friends. Yeah, no, 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 we didn't forget. I just <laughs> yeah, want to give you a little ornament to remember us by, just in case we don't come back. The trail up the mountain was cold, hard, and steep. The snow from the storm was nearly knee-deep. A sharp wind blew fiercely as the group trudged along. It seemed in the distance they could hear a song. Something of snowmen and wanting to build them. But the ones that appeared were trying to kill them. These snowmen were not jolly, but appeared to be bad. The look in their eyes showed they were indeed mad. As you head up to this clearing, several of these snowmen golem type creatures pull themselves out of the earth and the snow just forming around them, blowing from snow drifts and just making them these monstrous beings. Uh, they're not quite angry, but they're very confused as they see you as trespassers and they start to get angry looks in their faces. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> So, uh, at the top, we have Cindy. Okay. I'm going to look out towards the snowman and just call out to them and say, Are you really not jolly? Roll intimidation, just because I feel like that's what Cindy believes is intimidating. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 26? 24. The 24? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my uh, God. Let me see. Wow. I'm gonna do... <laughs> well, a six foot eight muscle bound <laughs> cop just told him, why are you not jolly? <laughs> are you really? It was supposed to be a question. <laughs> uh, well, that's a natural one from the, uh, from the snow can. So, um, nice. uh, that's amazing. This, this front, this uh, snow man up here, um, all of a sudden, it's just like... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no, you made him cry. cry. You made him cry. You get you jolly again. Uh, you bullied Frosty. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that be your action. Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> you want to move now? Okay. <laughs> I'll go here. Okay. Uh, get behind me. Is there anything else you want to do? No. Okay, uh, that is now, uh, Troy. And I look at the display happening, and I'm like, oh my god, these, these snow monsters, give me, ah. Now, these are, uh, steps right here, so, um, okay. go up to this higher cliff, so you can okay. see the two other snow monsters, snowmen, snow monsters, snow people, uh, you know, looking out menacingly in this just kind of, like, Frankenstein monster type I wish and I, one of them is crying currently <laughs> in the wish, front. I wish I infused something before we left the town because I don't have an infused item right now. So what I'm going to do is peek out from behind the rock I'm, I'm, and see the other <laughs> monster there. And I'm just going to go, ah, and I throw a firebolt at the snow monster with the orange ring around it. And All right, roll for... Uh, Go for fireball. <laughs> I mean, fire uh, bolt, not ball. <laughs> you see Troy, like, snap his fingers and, like, a little butane torch magical thing appears and he just goes, <laughs> and it fires the, the fire bolt, hopefully at the snowman. Uh, I'd say with a 25 it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead and roll these Great damages. Great idea, warm his frozen heart. Absolutely. <laughs> for fi 15 <laughs> points of damage. As the uh, just this quick motion of uh, inside your wrist, the, the butane torch comes out, and with a little arcane flare, it projects out onto this uh, this snow golem. Um, and ow, that's gotta hurt. Fifteen points of fire damage. Very nice. Right. You just see as the flames just engulf it for a bit, as it starts to drip a little down onto the ground. Uh, noticeably getting a little bit shorter 
Um, it is uh, now the... I didn't move yet. Hold on, let me... Uh... Um, and I'm just going to move further back behind this rock, keeping an eye on everything and everyone. <laughs> so uh, the one that is... Um... Uh, the, uh, was currently crying uh, just uh, in anger decides to move towards uh, the <laughs> the person that just made him cry and is going to do uh, is uh, going to do uh, two slam attacks so the first one is going to be let's see that's a nat 20 ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> Uh, that tracks. <laughs> so that's uh, 1d6 plus 2. Just, uh, you're going to take the 7 points of cold damage on that first one. Okay. And the next one, the seven, That's a 7 plus 4. So, um, what's your AC? 18. 18. That does not hit. But the first one, you feel the slam, and it slams down right across your chest, but its arms get kind of, like, still absorbed into the very snow that it kind of is forming out of, so it's not able to lift its arms up again and hit you. Uh, now it is uh, Mary Bell. All right. Um, I am going to uh, just cast uh, Produce Flame on the uh, the one that's Harry and my friend Cindy over there. Ooh. And, do, oh God, or I'm not gonna, cause it's a nine. It hits. It hits? Oh, yay. Cur it's a very low armor class, folks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are made of snow. But yeah. The children know they came to life one day. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well. Whoa. <laughs> You can't that's sing too whole... much of it, or else we have to pay royalties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a whole eight damage. All right, and uh, you just <laughs> this, as this flame engulfs once more. And now a a snow golem that was crying at first, and now is engulfed in flame, and is just you can't quite tell if a uh, snow can is it melting or is it crying. You're not quite sure, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, all right, so now it is, uh, the all the way in the back here, uh, it is going to, uh, move up right to here, and it reaches into its chest and pulls out a practically perfect snowball, and it is going to launch it at uh at the at Cindy because you made their friend cry. It wasn't on purpose. I just want them to think about the, what they're doing. <laughs> you make friends sad. And it just launches jolly. it at you. <laughs> uh that is a twelve. That does not hit. Not hit. So whoosh right past you. And, you know, you're used to having snowballs thrown at you before with your life. Just like the teens. <laughs> uh, shugs. Just like the teens. <laughs> teens. I remember it fondly. Okay. Um, Chugs will see um, this one just launching snowballs. Um, and he will... Let's see, I have a lot going on. He will cast um, Earth Tremor to see Ooh. if he can knock this snowman down a peg. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's oh, a, a natural that, one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, Damn. Well, it doesn't work, Chugs. Despite your amount of uh, you know fortitude that you try to put into this one, to no avail. <laughs> uh, Gosh, the... Um, the next snowman that has been uh, considerably melted. Um, Troy, if you could do a quick perception check for me. Sure. I am pretty good at that. That's a 21. <laughs> okay. 
So I'll tell you what happens, depending on how this attack goes. Okay. That's a 14. Oh, it just hits. Oh, <laughs> so a big swinging clubbing arm comes uh, right down onto your head. Uh, the bit of a frozen pack of, of punch to it. And you're going to take uh, 1d6 plus two. So you're going to take um, seven points damage there for that first attack. It's going to bring its other arm around and go for a swing. It's a 17. That hits. So you take another, uh, another seven points of damage. Oh, great. <laughs> but with that uh, 21 perception check, you do notice that this is one of the ones that had been damaged really early on. And uh, underneath what uh, the snow, as it melts away, you see the semblance of a person underneath the snow. Now you don't have anything else to do, so you'll have to wait your turn. <laughs> uh, but it is uh, Holly's turn. Oh Lord. Um... I don't know if Holly's perception is that high to notice that there's a person underneath that snowman. Um, um, where, where are you? Are 10. you next to Troy? I am next to Troy. Roll perception then. I'll give this okay, a free action. Sure, sure. With, thank um, you. Quick question: With a twenty-one, would I be able to tell if the person is damaged by the by the attack I did, or uh, is the person just, just frozen the, inside? Yeah, you just see basically like that. The snow armor has melted away. Okay. Uh, Holly, you don't you you're a little too overwhelmed right now to notice anything at the moment. No. <laughs> I am quite overwhelmed. Never really had to fight using my Christmas magic, but she's gonna have to try. She's gonna <laughs> pick up some snow, make a snowball, and cast um, catapult at this. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, which one are you firing? Uh, the one that's attacking Troy. Got it. All right, Let, let's let's see. Um, deck save for the snowman. I don't think that's gonna be too much of a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should I move further away? I'm a. Have a minus two to their dexterity, so that's a fourteen. I... <gasps> that just makes it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So I guess I throw it, and it just. I guess it hits it in like the meaty part that had like a bunch of snow and it just packs with it and she's like damn it <laughs> um and quit that... adding on to him <laughs> as I, 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 say, like, I say as I'm like fighting. held up against the rock like covered in snow um let me see I'm so sorry um yeah you know what um that that's her, she used her bonus action to say sorry because that's all she's got. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, fourth snowman is going to go up to the ridge here and it is going to fire a, a snowball of its own at Mary Bell. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's a nat one, so nope. <laughs> that don't miss. That's going to miss. Like a, it's like it's like one of those ceremonial opening pitches where he throws yeah. it and it goes like. <laughs> Maribel and... just looks at it, just looks at it, and says, "Wow, I love that for you." <laughs> <laughs> oh, the condescension takes psychic damage. <laughs> this is mockery. What? <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you she was a bar multi class. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are back at the top of the round with Cindy. All right, I'm going to look at the snowman in front of me and just say, you know, if I learned one thing from those teams, and I'm going to try to just tackle the snowman All right. to knock it down. Yeah, roll for, uh, I'm, I, I, roll for it and add your strength modifier. 22. Yeah, you take this oh, thing Oh, wait, I think I did a strength down. save on accident. You body oh. slam this thing. I'll say it. Why not? Because it's fun. I just <laughs> you just ah, it's like like spear it into the ground practically. Oh you, God, that snowman had a family. <laughs> <laughs> you just you, the, the 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 emotions that this thing has gone through because of you. It is so confused underneath. Um, 
roll. Let's uh, give me um so just an unarmed joy. strike. Give me, give me an unarmed strike roll for the attack. I want to hear uh, how much damage that is. That's, I think that's like what five. Um, it's just base. Four. It's four points. Okay. So yeah, you just it just goes like oh, 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 as it hits the ground. <laughs> Uh, and now Troy, uh, you you have seen now that the uh, there is a person underneath this, and they uh, it, it seems that they're still moving, kind of confused. As half like a little top corner of the face uh, is is uh, revealed to be um, human underneath, or excuse me, Huvian uh, underneath, <laughs> a little glazed look in its eye. So I see that, and knowing, uh, getting, guesstimating, like, where the outline of the person is, since I can't really do anything else, <laughs> I'm going to have to do Healing Word on the self, because I took a good chunk of damage. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire off another Firebolt again, but try to aim, like, at just the snow parts, like, trying to carve this person out of the enemy. All right. So I'll go ahead and roll that attack. I think I'll still hit that 17. Yeah. And uh yeah, how much uh fire damage are we getting with that? Let's see. We are getting um nine total yes. damage. Yes, and more and more of uh that is uh revealed with just patches of snow now instead of it's like someone got dusted up with snow at this point instead of looking like a humanoid um uh, s snowman, snow person. Okay, and I'm gonna Something. as as I use my bonus action. Listen, I'm inclusive in my monsters. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> there are no there are no monster pronouns that will be unleft left unsaid. <laughs> so as as that happens, and I see more of the person being unveiled, I throw my hand onto my chest and cast healing word on myself. Okay. Um. And let me just uh, roll that one d four plus three. Ooh, good four. That's great. So I get um, out, and I get alchemical savant healing. So I get ten points of healing back, Ooh, which is very great. nice. And as I do that, I go the people inside him, <laughs> and I can't crawl away because if I do, he takes an attack of opportunity. <laughs> uh, everyone who is near Troy, and I'll, I'll, it, yeah, I'm gonna say you shout that at the top of your lungs. So everyone else can roll perception right now to see if you hear. Come on, Holly. Whopping seven. Oh. <laughs> My God, oh, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, Holly. Yeah, I will yes, Holly. Good with the You're standing yes. 10 feet away from me. You yeah. better I roll better good... hear it. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> everyone but minute. Chugs. Uh, <laughs> here's um, Troy. Chugs, you're kind of like two in the moment right now to just get the, with the adrenaline going to really pay any attention to it. <laughs> uh, it is um, going to be the snowman that is in front, uh, once again, uh, in front of the um, uh, our uh, bullying cop. <laughs> <laughs> and um, only a small bit of snow has kind of like gone away and instead of it looking like it chopped away, you can start to see that it is almost just like a skinnier person for the most part underneath. Oh. So unless you have any reactions, there's not much you can do because it's going to try and attack you again. Yeah. And it is going to go for a uh, another. It's this that. Oh, well, actually, it's grappled. So it's got to do a strength save. Because you tackled it to the ground. And that is a 16. So uh what is your uh what is your strength? Um my strength score is 16. I can roll like a strength check or Yeah, roll check. give me a strength check, the uh, D20 with your modifier, strength modifier, just to contest this. Okay. As it tries to get out of it. It right. Well, it, <laughs> it kind of bursts out of you, and it, it uh, takes that as its uh, movement and action to kind of just 
get out of it. Um, I'm going to say that also you start to see more of the snow drift off as it, it, it's starting to look more like uh, you know, a person and less of a monster. Uh, Mary Bell. All right. Well, seeing, uh, hearing uh, Troy's words and seeing that there's like a person under there, I'm going to cast Shape Water. Ooh. Uh, on this on this guy, <clears throat> and uh, I can instantaneously move uh, up to a five foot cube. Okay. Uh, which seems like it would be most of the size of a humanoid. Yeah. Uh, so I want to like focus on the water of the snow and try to like take it off of the person that's in there. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. That's what I'm using my action to do. All right. And there's no role for that. It just happens. No, not at all. It's just yeah. straight up spell. And as you pull in all that Christmas cheer and holiday joy, it I got channels so out much throughout of it. you. It overflows. Just overflowing <laughs> uh, with uh, a uh, glass charm from your own shop. Mm -hmm. what, what's this one shaped like? Oh, this one? This one's shaped like a snowflake, oddly enough. This is like my water charm. I love this one. And it, 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 you know, they, they mock you for this kind of belief in, in crystals and such, but it, it, in a world like this, it absolutely works, and you see completely uh, all of the snow just melt off of the person, and um, uh, Troy, you actually recognize them as uh, Polly, uh, one of the uh, ones that had been mentioned as part of the search party. Oh, you gotta be f kidding me. <laughs> All right, so so now that all the snow's off of Polly, how is hey? He no need to curse. Looking. <laughs> um, it is uh. Well, we're about to find out because here's the thing: we're still we're still in combat because there's well, a yeah. there's several others who are. Um, well, that's why I'm wondering, could, but like like because like if he needed healing, like I have healing word, I could bonus action with. So yeah, by then go for it. All right. All right. Uh, if you can, yeah. Um, I'm gonna set the. You know what? Um, yeah. Give give the give me the healing word. All right. So I'm gonna cast healing word at level one. Uh... And you're doing it to the one that's oh. in front of mm -hmm. uh, Cindy. Yeah. The okay. One that I just melted. Oh, that's a whole. Got it. Uh, as you as you put out those, those good vibes that you're always mm -hmm. telling everyone to have, uh, mm -hmm. Polly's head kind of like shakes awake, like, "Oh, what the hell!" Oh my and, god, Polly! And uh, he turns he turns around. <laughs> he's looking around, like, "What the frig happened over here?" Uh, Polly, Paul you were a snowman, Polly. What? And uh, he looks around and he's trying to figure out, like who's who, and like he know he notices you, Troy, and he sees Mary Bell and everybody. He's just kind of like, I was looking for the kids and me and and Mickey and Nick and uh, 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 Johnny and Jimmy over there. We were all looking. And I don't know who's left. Who the hell are these guys? He's looking at the other snowmen. Paul, Polly, Polly, shut your mouth and move off to the side for a minute, okay? We still got to deal with two of these people. <laughs> And he does, and he scatters off. <laughs> uh, but uh, the uh, the one at the top of the ridge decides to come down the stairs and goes after um, uh, goes after Cindy. Decides to go for a slam attack. Uh, that's only an eight, so does not hit. And that's all it can do. Uh, chugs. All right, so Chugs is seeing all this happening because he didn't hear Troy the first time, and then suddenly Polly's in front of him <laughs> out of the snowman that we're attacking. So he's really confused. He's like, "What, Polly? What? What's going on?" And then he sees um, the snowman attack Cindy. Um, so he's going to attack with his ice knife and try to carve. Um, away at the snow to get somebody out. Okay. Twenty-two to hit. 
So I'm assuming you move up to them, though. I do. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I'll move you up there. Thank um, you. Yeah, it 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 does work. It, you hit him. You make connection, but the ice around the knife kind of just absorbs into the snowman's body, the the snow golem's body. <laughs> Made him bigger. Oh, no. Well, you shoot. gotta use fire, you dumbass. Um, I need you to <laughs> roll for fire. the. I need you to roll druid. your attack damage because those are going to end up being temporary hit points now for this golem. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, now we know. <laughs> Two. Okay, so it, okay, it basically kind of goes back to like a little bit of a, a, just a little bit extra. As you see, it just kind of turned like, that tickle. <laughs> that was my favorite knife, man. And you just took it <laughs> Chuck, I told you you should come by the shop. I teach you some stuff about some like water magic and stuff, like some snow druid druidry. I, I, I know. I've just been so stuff. busy. You... I've just been so busy with the Christmas season, trying to make all these toys I for know, the kids. I know, but the crystals are really helpful, Chugs. You really should come by. Somebody help you, Chug. Is, go- is anybody got? Is anybody gonna fight the one there, by my point. freaking friends out there? Is there uh, anybody going to fight the one right by me? Polly's like, I'm trying to find a rock. <laughs> you say, you, as you say that, it go, it's going to go for uh, another uh, slam attack on you. Um, <laughs> of uh, The patches of snow that are still mysteriously covering. Uh, that's a nine. So It does not hit. No, it does not. Uh, the snow, like as it's kind of melted off, you can see that it's just uh it's it's much weaker now that it's a lot left uh not as much on their body um uh holly okay i have a question can we tell if they've taken like extensive amount of damage from us hitting them um i mean yeah every uh, anytime you do attack them you know with anything that isn't ice uh, you, you are effectively hurting, okay. or rather not hurting, but like you can tell that whatever this mysterious thing that's kind of like made them a zombie almost, or just rage-filled beast is, uh, the less it goes, uh, the less it's on them, the more they kind of like revert back to their humanity. Okay. Uh, well, she's got choices. You know what? A knockout never hurt nobody except a small (laughs) concussion. Um, So Holly uh, this whole time was like, all right, snowball didn't work. I'm going to try a rock and I'm assuming there's a rock around. Oh, absolutely. She's going to try. There's trees, there's boys. (laughs) (laughs) She's going to try this catapult um, one more time and she's going to go, I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> Over. All right. One. <laughs> what again? Uh, deck save. Oh, deck save. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Here we go. Yeah, remember, there's a minus two to their decks, so. Come on, man. Uh, that's a four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's roll that damage. That damage. Okay. That's a 15. That's enough. And when you throw the rock, it knocks them in the head. They go down and all of the snow falls off their body. And that's Jimmy, Troy. That's Jimmy that's in front of you. Jimmy, I'm so sorry. Jimmy, get over with Polly. We gotta gotta carve where else is in these snow things out. I'm sorry. I just I got lost coming up on the way here. I just figured that you know we were all going on a trip. <laughs> oh, for, what, oh, for Seuss's sake! <laughs> just get over there with Polly. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jimmy. Uh the uh the, the the snow golem on the top of the ridge is going to try and jump over that little ice chasm. And falls into the chasm. <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> okay, well that's great. We just lost the union member. Basically, this is this is going to be fantastic for our pension meeting. <sighs> There's probably going to be a lot of paperwork. And 
as it just disappears into the ice below, gone, gone, gone. Uh, <laughs> there is only uh, one somewhat fully formed snow golem left, and it is uh, right in front of you, Chugs, um, and in front of you, uh, Cindy. As we go back to the top. Okay. <laughs> How is this snowman? Is the person almost out of it? No, it's it's still fully formed. It was able to get out of your grip. Yeah. Um. Basically, when um, who was the person who yelled out? That, that was Troy. People? Troy. When Troy yelled out, I fully let go of the snowman and looked back and was like, "What did you say?" <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to... All you look right. like you're just a, a head on a shelf right now. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> I'm a head on a shelf <laughs> instead of an elf. Okay, I'm going to take out my mining pick that I have for okay. mining candy cane. And I'm going to say, <laughs> we're going to get you out of there. And I'm going to make an attack trying to carve the person out of the snowman. Sure. Roll for that attack. Yeah, that's it's one above the armor class, so yes, you, you chip away at it. Uh, hit me up with that war pick damage. Seven. My seven points of damage as the snow boom, boom, just starts to clump off. Uh, it's, still, it's still up pretty well, uh, so now it is uh, Troy, it is your turn. Oh, you Little gotta thing. melt them! I, I think go. I got an extra attack. Can I go. Oh, do you? Five. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, nine. It's again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Barely. You're like so like. I, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> Going around them. Sir, okay, calm so down. Minutes. Calm down. <laughs> this is a Wendy's. <laughs> okay, so that is a ten. And another ten. Wonderful. Um, yeah, it, uh, more of it uh, chips away, and you can now start to see more and more of the person underneath for sure. Uh, yes, and Mary Bell. No, Troy. Excuse me, Troy. Sorry. So I come running down Three, four. you can use your dash too if you want to use the get up closer well I'm, I'm good from I'm good from a distance so I just okay. go you gotta melt them and I throw another <laughs> firebolt at the snowman <laughs> man 21 yeah when you said you gotta melt them, it just sounded like George Costanza's dad like just the way <laughs> you gotta melt them so ready now <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's 14 damage. and you see uh, now the uh, again more of it melting off and a, a familiar uniform underneath uh, Cindy dad no. <laughs> <laughs> dad well, you never know <laughs> um, actually I'm gonna it's Cindy oh no <laughs> His father. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, no, oh, but it's a minus two to its wisdom. So <laughs> it it, it kind of goes like looks at you like I think I understand that. <laughs> but Dad, you're back. It's it goes, so good to see you. It goes to hit you again anyway. Um, <laughs> Oh no, what happened to Mary Bell's turn? Uh, Mary Bell, sorry. I, I keep, was gonna melt that. It keeps skipping so, ahead. So yeah, Mary Bell. Oh man. Yeah, uh, Mary Bell's just gonna, um, again, take her snowflake ornament crystal. Uh, she's gonna come on up, she's gonna walk up, and kind of like do like a Reiki healing kind of thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she's just gonna like hold the hold the snowflake uh, ornament over uh, okay. the body and and shape water to uh, remove all the water from this. Awesome, uh, and it melts away. And uh, yes, uh, Cindy, you do see the uh, long forgotten 
uh, visage of your father standing in front of you. Oh! Hey, it's so good to see you. You call this cold? Uh, I knew uh, cold, nope. I'll tell you what. Now, all right, oh God, we're going sir, to find some kids. wearing shorts. They're so short. Your Why shorts. are the cops wearing shorts? It's real this cold is standard out uniform, I'll tell you that much, middle all right? Of the winter. Why are you wearing shorts? Holy Jimmy, get over here! And I call to the two of them hiding. These are our fur, these are our fleece line shorts, okay? Oh. These are standard issue. That seems <laughs> real counterproductive, I'm not gonna lie, having fleece line shorts. <laughs> and uh as um as he like reconnects with you cindy and wondering what is going on and uh, they explain how they were the search party for uh the missing kids um with all of the snow having melted off of them um they you know the they get get everybody together to uh, a nearby um like small cavernous opening starting a fire up and everybody gets to this um they everybody recommends okay we will we'll rest here and then um if you guys are gonna go forward well i'll take uh cindy your dad uh what's his what's your father's name <laughs> i'm gonna say mindy uh mindy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he 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 uh looks That's at you right. he's like take care of these folks okay we'll do that you get them home safe you guys it's do only... like that, that arm and arm like type of like like predator <laughs> handshake <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> just just art like almost arm wrestling, and he's got like an upper hand on you, and you know he's like ah. He turns right. into arm wrestling. I just I turn to Paul, I turn to Polly and Jimmy, and I go, "Who is the third guy? The one that jumped into the chasm?" We're fully wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> you guys and just the, see Cindy just, and his dad just kind of like, ah, come here. Ah, ah. Uh, while Polly is kind of like, oh, go for the leg. Come on, go for the leg. Polly, Polly. What, what, what? Focus. Who was the third? Who was the fourth person? Oh, uh, that was uh, Johnny. I didn't like Johnny anyway. All right. Yeah, nobody liked Johnny. He had too many debts anyway. So, you know, good on him. When you get back to the town, you gotta check the boiler, all right? Because the boy you hit it with the wrench, because you know. <laughs> and uh, he slipped and fell. Yeah, he slipped and fell. Yeah, we'll but go. I with saw. That. Nobody else saw nothing. Nobody else. else saw nothing. Nobody else saw nothing, right? <laughs> right. Cause more uh, paperwork, you? Though, with uh. an accident report, like then you need. An you don't know how we do reports in the five hundred four, okay? <laughs> I'm actually wondering how you do reports in the five hundred four. 504 it's it's the we are the 504th edition of the Hoovian Society of Mechanical Spraying Doodle Snoots Cogs Flogs and Light Haberdashery. Yeah, there was 503 before us, but you know, the, we're the ones that lasted the longest. Uh, How did that happen? That sounds uh, you don't want to know. Problem. Yeah, yeah, there, know. Uh, there was there was a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of tea time and uh a lot like, of slipping and falling. We'll slipping just say. and falling. Maybe yeah, there was some ice accidents. You know, things happen. Things Maybe happen. Some wet floor worst, signs. You know, something. we have wet floor signs. It says wet floor, but nobody pays attention nobody to those anyway. Down. Just look down. <laughs> you look down. It's right there. It's bright right yellow. There. It's four feet high. <laughs> twelve out of tw twelve out of ten who's have an accident and permanent 12, damage 12 from out of and falls. <laughs> your strong suit is a safe. So I'm gonna count this now as a long rest for everybody. Oh, okay. sweet. Hey. Oh, 